the bats have been checked to make sure they comply with all the ITTF regulations and the players are allowed to inspect their opponent's bat. So the umpire spins the coin. The winner can decide whether they want to serve or receive, or they can choose ends. Once they make that decision, their opponent has the other choice. So if, if Fung was to decide to serve, Jang would have the opportunity to choose ends. Pretty straightforward, really. So now the players will just have a two-minute practice, two-minute warm-up. Fung Pan Fung, 34 years of age. Ranked number one, there's his route to this semi-final. There is his coach. And there we have Zhang Yun Jin. Silver medal in the men's doubles. And there is his route to this semi-final match. On to the one, she has only 14 years old. She represents a Great Britain. She's seated for Bly to me. And she's a there is our umpire and our assistant umpire. The first seeded player, um, Kelly Van Zorn. The umpire there just having a word with the coach from the Republic of Korea. Just took out her mobile phone, looking as though she was going to take a picture, just making sure there'd be no flash. Last thing players want is a flash camera going off when they're warming up, when they're playing a game. You can see in the knockup, Jang just has a couple of different techniques when he forehand drives. He sometimes hits it flat, he sometimes spins the ball. He's playing with reverse rubber on both sides of his racket. Fung Pan Fung plays with short pimples on one side and reverse rubber on the other. So it's the best of five games. First player to win three goes through. That's a fault on the service. Just served it a little bit too long. So Chinese coach will be very happy with Fung's performance so far in this tournament. There he is applauding him. He's won two gold medals already, men's doubles and the mixed doubles, going for a hat-trick of gold medals here at the Paralympics in Paris. And indeed, he's going for his fifth consecutive men's singles gold medal. Both points with the service. Looking for the angle wide to Jang's forehand. Topspin there from Fung brushed up the back of the ball 
travelled fairly slow, but it was fizzing with topspin. Oh, excellent play from Jang. As soon as he got the opportunity, he introduced a little bit more speed and spin, won the point. Served with the black side, and then he'll turn the bat round in his hand, so that he has the red side, the short pimples on his backhand. Five points apiece. that return to serve a little bit too long good to see trying looking to be positive to push it near the baseline Short pimples, the red side of his racket. If he serves with his backhand, he uses the black side and then spins the racket round. Missed that forehand top spin. Still has a two point lead, now has his two serves to come. Maybe we'll see his serving technique. He's going to serve with the forehand this time, so. Turn that slightly slower, varied the pace, put the ball a fraction higher, slowed it down, and it was that variation in speed that won the point and gave him three game points. Right on the edge of the table. now with his two serves that's the first point he's saved two game points he's got one more to save to take it to ten points apiece for the long push out wide positive play from Jang but he made an error and it is Fung who takes the first game 11 points to 9 confirmation on screen
where it was. Takes the first game, 11 points to nine. They've now had the one minute with their coaches. They've now made their way back to the table and we're going to start the second game. Good backhand topspin from Jang. Just came around the outside of the ball there with that backhand push. Puts a little side spin on the ball, took it out wide. To Jang's forehand. Oh, that's a good forehand hit. Hit straight through the ball there, it's a good smash. Saw the variation there in the forehand, how he just hooked it, he came around the outside, put side spin on the ball to take it out wide to Jang's forehand. Just caught the top of the net, flicked it off the end of the table. Excellent play by the Republic of Korea player. Jang looking to be positive there, he just hits the fraction too hard, fraction too high. Only just missed the baseline. looking to keep the ball deep just occasionally he's pushing it or driving it a little too hard it's going off the end of the table yeah. it's a great rally by both players Good top spin into the pimples of Fung, and that just came back very flat and forced the error from Jang. Looking to brush that a little bit more to get more top spin. Just went through the ball rather than up the back of the ball. Looking to go wide to Jang's forehand, just caught the top of the net. So 9-3 though still for the number one seed, the number one player in the world. Fortunate net court for Jang. But still Fung leads by five points. Make that six, and that is in in effect six match points six game points i should say there it is at the first time of asking fung takes the second game 11 points to four and he now leads by two games to one confirmation of the 
situation in this men's singles class three semi-final two games to nil lead for the gentleman on the screen there in the red shirt first game was tight 11-9 but the second game 11-4 One minute in the corner. Talk to the coach, rehydrate. Last minute rehydration there for Fung. And he's on his way back and we'll shortly be starting the third game. A real tough battle now in front of Jang. He has to win the last three games. Fung just needs one of the last three. Oh, caught the edge. First point to the Republic of Korea. Thought there was a little bit more backspin on the ball, I think, there, did... Jang just lifted it a fraction too much. That's a great angle from Jang. Republic of Korea coach there looking on. Blocks it long. Chang 3-1 in the lead. Fortunate, Chang the net cord set him up, but he still had to put it away, and he did that very well. So Korea leading China 5-2. Second serve coming up in this sequence of two. Oh, that's a great block out wide from Fung. a great push fast push caught the sideline perfect angle you can see there with that camera angle how fast the ball is actually travelling it's even when they're pushing the ball, fast pushes, keeping their opponent under pressure. Both of them doing it very well. Fun thinks that touched. And very, again, another great sporting gesture. From Jang. He points to the edge, confirming that it did touch. Jang still has one serve to go. That 
That's a great backhand topspin into the body. Six points apiece. from Fung there, just that little bit wider to the backhand. And timeout called by the Republic of Korea. Just gives the coach a chance to talk about the tactics. Of course, Jang can't afford to lose this game. He has to win the next three. So there's no room for error here. So might as well use the timeout in this third game. Might not be a fourth game, but certainly I feel that Jang is definitely playing himself back into this semi-final. Started well, it was very close the first game, 11-9. Then Fung dominated in the second, but the third, once again, it's very tight. 7-6 in favour of China. there, equal to everything that came at him from Fung. He was playing the angles, he was playing it quickly. But Chang managed to eventually win the point. That was very short over the net. Fung was stretching, lost a little bit of control, made the error. So the timeout has worked wonders for Jang. Good call by the Korean coach. angle out wide to Jang's backhand from Fung and the score's level nine points apiece but it is Jang who has the two serves and that's match point that was a fairly quick return into the body of Jang, not sure whether to play backhand forehand, got himself in a little bit of a tangle. Match point, China. Oh, and he's done it. That was a great rally as well at the end, but certainly. When it comes to mental toughness, this player from China has it in abundance. So there we have an 11-9 victory and a three games to nil victory for Fung Pan Fung. Shaking hands with everybody. So 
He's looking to defend his title. He's now made it to the final. He's one match away from winning his fifth consecutive Paralympic men's singles title. Confirmation of his victory there. Very close, the first and second. The first and third, 11-9, 11-4, 11-9. And Zhang playing in his first Paralympics. Put up an excellent performance and certainly a player we're going to see more of going forward. So there we have player and coach from China, a job well done.